Well, tonight, Western New Mexico University is mourning the death of a freshman football player. 18-year-old Eddie Cruz drowned yesterday at Bill Evans Lake near Silver City. News 13's Courtney Allen spoke to his current and former coaches today. Courtney. Kim, New Mexico State Police recovered Cruz's body last night around 7.30. The wide receiver from El Paso, Texas, hadn't played a game yet for the Mustangs, but head coach Frank Tristan says he already made a huge impact on the team. He says that he was one of the first players they recruited. Tristan tells News 13 six other freshman football players were with Cruz at the time of his death, but declined to share further details. Our hearts are broken, and it's been tough to process, and we're not, I guess it's, it's we're kind of lost for words on this because we're just kind of being there for each other. Cruz was a graduate of Eastwood High School in El Paso. His former coach there says the loss they feel is immeasurable. You know, this morning we had an early morning practice scheduled, and, you know, it was just the hardest thing to get through. You know, I addressed the team before our practice. There were a lot of emotions, a lot of tears. We just can't believe, you know, that we lost them. El Paso City Council honored Cruz at their meeting today with his high school team. Those players will wear a helmet decal with Cruz's initials and jersey number during their game against Plano in Dallas later this week. They will also have his jersey on the sideline for each game. Cruz's high school coach said that he had an infectious personality. He said that Cruz idolized Odell Beckham Jr. and hoped to play one day in the NFL. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Courtney. Now the Grand County Sheriff's Office says the death is still under investigation.